Do you need to add embossed text to your next 3D printed project or maybe your next CNC project? Well, Fusion 360 has just added an awesome new tool that makes it super easy to do. Stick around and I'll tell you how to do it. Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. So today we are going to revisit a video that I made almost three years ago. So if you need to wrap text around a curved object in Fusion 360, in the past there really were only two techniques you could use and the results weren't quite so perfect if you needed to wrap the text all the way around the object or if you needed to have a very large object. What would happen is the text would end up skewing as you extruded it uh, either out or in. So in the most recent update of Fusion 360, Autodesk is doing some innovative work on a lot of different fronts, I might add, and they added an emboss capability. This is a feature that is really available in many of the other CAD programs. It was never part of the Fusion package, but it solves this problem of the text skewing. So what I'm gonna do is redo the video that I did two and a half years ago and show you how to use the new feature. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing, ringing that bell, very important these days. And let's go ahead and cut over to Fusion and let me show you the new emboss tool. Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360. I am gonna start this video by reproducing what we did in the first video, which is simply creating a cylinder and then using the extrude from surface command. So let's go ahead and do that. Start by creating a sketch on the bottom plane here. C for circle. We will make it 75 millimeters again. Finish sketch. E for extrude, 75 millimeters tall. Next, we want to turn the body off. We will create a sketch here and add some text to it by hitting the text command here. We will make the text 35 millimeters and then select a font that is nice, big and blocky that'll kind of accentuate what we're trying to do. CRG, just like last time. Now, for whatever reason, Fusion is flipping the text. I don't know why. So a couple different options. You can just use the arm here to rotate it. Uh, to fix the orientation if you want, or there's actually some buttons down here to flip as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and use that arm to rotate. We are gonna put this text near the bottom because we wanna put another piece of text on top to compare and contrast. Click OK, select Finish Sketch. We will turn our body on, and now we're gonna hit E for Extrude. We'll take the little handle here, and we will grab and pull it out. Oh, slide it in a little bit more, so about, uh, what's that, five? Yeah, we'll take it to about five millimeters, there you go. Click OK. So now you can see immediately that the text does have this skewing effect, which is not optimal. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use the emboss command to redo what we just did and show the differences. Now, a little nuance with the emboss command, which I'll get to in a minute, but I need to create an offset plane first. So I will select the plane that I want to offset from. I will offset about uh, 55 millimeters, which is the front of the object. All right, now that we have our offset plane, I am going to go ahead and create a sketch on it. Click OK. We are going to add our text again, just like we did last time. Text will be CRG, so we can compare and contrast. 35 millimeters. We are going to select the same font. Click OK. Oh, we want to flip and flip. There you go. Do it right about there. Click OK. <clears throat> so now we have our text on this offset plane. Finish our sketch. We will say Create, Emboss. We will select our text. We will select our face. There you go. Boom. Perfect, looks good. Now there are a couple of options here for this particular command. You can actually move the text left and right using the horizontal, uh, up and down with the vertical, and then you can actually rotate the text, which is a lot more capability than you had with the extrude command. So that's really cool. You can also deboss the text, otherwise known as cutting it by selecting this little button here. In this case, we wanna emboss so we can show and compare and contrast the two results. So let's go ahead and click okay. <clears throat> 
and immediately you can see that the text is nice and straight and perpendicular. It has a constant width around the edge of the object. If I scroll to the bottom here, you can see that the extrude actually starts tailing off the further away from the center line that it gets because uh, it's extruding and trying to compensate for that curve, but it doesn't have the constant diameter here. All right, so why did we have to create the offset plane? Well, this is something about fusion that I haven't quite figured out and I will show you why. By adding a second piece of text to the original sketch that we did and show you what happened if we didn't create the offset plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bodies off. I will open this sketch here. I will copy the text and just move it up. Control C, Control V or Command C, Command V for those of us on a Macintosh. I will select Finish Sketch, turn the sketch back on, turn the body back on, and let's go ahead and turn this sketch off. There we go. And I want to create the emboss. There you go. Select this, and then select the object. And for whatever reason, Fusion thinks the front side of the sketch is actually the back side of the sketch. You notice this when we did the offset plane, when I selected that plane, it actually had to be a negative 55 millimeters instead of a positive 55 millimeters. So what it does, it actually embosses to, from the view of the cube here, it actually embosses to the back of the object. I don't know why, and I don't know how to fix it. There is this button here that says flip normal side of sketch profiles, which I would expect it to flip that front and that back but selecting this doesn't change the outcome at all. So I don't know if this is a bug or not in Fusion 360. I am going to reach out to them via their forums, see if they can offer any input on this, but this is just a little nuance uh, that you need to know about. So just go ahead and use the offset plane. It actually makes it easier and you can control exactly where your text is going. Okay, so now I want to reproduce the test that I did in the first video, which is creating a little bit more of an organic shape, uh, kidney bean sort of shape solid, and use the emboss command there just to show that it can do something a little bit more complicated than a simple circle. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to turn this body off, I am gonna turn this sketch off, and I'm gonna create a new sketch on the bottom plane here for our new organic shape. So just like last time, using the spline tool, I am going to create something that is curved, kind of an arbitrary shape, like this. There you go. Okay. Just pull this out a little bit. Give us a nice curvature. Finish sketch. There you go. Okay, so now we can extrude this guy up 75 millimeters. There you go, just like that. I wanna turn the sketch of the text here that we had in the offset plane on again. Uh, but what I wanna do is I actually wanna add some more text to it. So I want to copy this guy, slide it down. And now I want to scale it a little bit. So we will say we want to make the height, uh, let's go with 60. Okay, we'll pull this guy up and just kind of center that right about there. Slide that there, say finish sketch. Okay, so now we have our sketch over our object here and I actually need to slide this down a little bit, there you go. Okay, so let's do our emboss command, create emboss. I will select both of these text items at the same time, select the face here and let it think a little bit, and there you go. Same five millimeter extrude that we had before. I will turn off the sketch, and there is the emboss. It curved it on that crazy sides. <laughs> you can see here that it is a constant five millimeters all the way around. It did a great job of picking up not only this inside curve here, but as it starts to curve out here, you can see that it's wrapped it all the way around. So that is super neat and super cool. All right, the last thing that I wanna show is you can actually use the pattern tool to actually change and add additional embossed text. So let's go ahead and do that. Say create pattern, circular pattern. 
In this case, I want to use select feature, which is going to be our emboss here. This guy right here. And I want to select the axis, which is our center axis here. There you go, boom, and look it just adds the text all the way around. Now, <laughs> we still have this extrude here, so we'll take care of that in a minute. So we'll click OK, and then go back to this guy here, this second emboss, and we'll take that out, delete, and there you go. So it just patterned it all the way around, perfectly spaced, got the same letters all the way around. That is super cool. So you can use this embossing technique to take and wrap text around pretty much any object that you want. Now I found it does work better with circles than with some other shapes. I tried to pattern around the uh, organic shape using the path command and it wasn't so awesome. <laughs> I don't think that's the emboss command's fault as much as it is Fusion's extrusion mechanism, but who knows, we'll see. Okay, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing, ringing that bell, very important these days. If you like the video, please consider a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but please leave your comments down below. Tell me why, and we will make future videos better. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so. That's where I post pictures of projects I'm working on, many of which become future videos. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for getting this far. And don't forget to be inspired. Interesting. All right. Get it to... All right, let's see. Do you need to, <clears throat> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> Do you need to emboss text?